Revelations now about teens and drug use in America, specifically their perception of pot. A new survey finding 60% of high schoolers don't think marijuana is harmful to their health. For 12th graders, 36% uh, 36, 36 of them have used them um, in the past year, 23% have used them in the past month, and 6.5% have used them uh, regularly, used them regularly. So you see, these are high numbers. Let's bring in our power female panel. Lauren Simonetti is a reporter for Fox Business Network. Stacey Nelkin is with DailyAffair.com. And Dee Dee Benke is a Republican strategist and blogger at RedGirlsSalon.com. All right, Lauren, what do you make of this? Because when you look at the stats, it seems that it keeps going up and up mm -hmm. with young people using pot. Why? If marijuana is legal medicinally in many states, it kind of makes people think it's healthy. And I think a lot of young people now are saying it's no big deal. And at the same time, Kids might be smoking more pot, but they're drinking less, they're taking prescription drugs less, they're using cocaine and other drugs less as well, so you got to weigh um, what's worse. Well, but the interesting thing, Dee Dee, is it seems to me to come down to education. Absolutely. You know, I have young kids, but they think smoking cigarettes is something that they'll never do. You know, that could change. But that's because they've been educated on that. Yeah, the same right. about drunk driving. But where's the education about smoking pot? Well, they're, we're going to have to start that, because if it's killing brain cells, you know, you have to give them some tough love and say, hey, you know what? If you smoke too much pot, you're not going to be able to go to school, you're not going to pass your SATs, you're not going to be able to buy that car, you're not going to be able to make any money. So you've got to give them some tough love and say, this can ruin your life. And that's really all you can do. But, but there's some disconnect here, Stacey, because smoking is, you know, arguably bad for your health, but pot smoking is arguably worse for your health. So where is this disconnect in the kids? And by the way, they think that driving while they're high is really not that big of a deal compared a to drunk deal. driving. Yeah, it's a, first of all, that is a very big deal, and I think mothers against drunk driving need to have mothers against driving on grass mm. because it <laughs> is it is very dangerous. Um, the the real problem is we, I think we've all probably tried pot. No, no, you know. Well, no, no. okay. Well, <laughs> I'm older than you. I have, but at any rate, the pot today, marijuana today, is extremely, extremely potent. Mm -hmm. And I have a daughter who's about to turn 15, and we've had this discussion. And I know friends have been asking her to do it. And I said, listen, what you need to know is how strong it can be. Yep. It's not like having a little drink. You're not going to just feel a little buzz. It can, it's bad. It does burn brains. Sells it. Pot and academics do not go together. All right, I want to move on to this because the star of Catching Fire and the Hunger Games, Jennifer Lawrence, speaking out against fat shaming, telling Barbara Walters, quote, and the word fat, I just think it should be illegal to call somebody fat on TV. I mean, if we're regulating cigarettes and sex and cuss words because of the effect it has on our younger generation, why aren't we regulating things like calling people fat? Lauren. I think she makes a point. Um, we're on television. We speak to the world. We set an example, and we should be held to a higher standard. Should it be illegal? No, there is such a thing as freedom of speech. But the point is, where did social matters go? And because of social media, everybody feels like they have a platform yep. to say whatever they will. The meaner it is, the more ratings you get at yeah. times. Well, and there's lots of meanness out there. Dee, I know you disagree. Yeah, I think it's ridiculous. No, this is personal responsibility. I mean, this is up to the individual lifestyle. If you're going to be fat, you're going to get called fat. If you don't want to be called fat, that, then don't be But fat. what about the self-imaging for our young girls? I mean, I'm raising a young daughter. I, I worry about this every single day, to be honest with you. And, yeah, I, I had an eating disorder, and it all began because my father said, oh, you're looking a little fat there. I was 15. There are 7 million girls, women, in this country who have an eating disorder, and 95% of them are between 20, 12 and 25 years old. It's not the calling fat is, is like calling a guy, another F word, a fag. It's, it, it is unacceptable. No way. It's and it personal, will trigger no. an eating disorder. Look, you either get over yeah. it or you put down the Big Mac. It does it's not need to be illegal, but it does trigger an eating it's disorder in somebody who's press. prone There are to some actresses who are clearly well, not fat, maybe fat. Right. But they still get called it, and Jennifer Lawrence at least is speaking I up for being her. real. Uh, the three of you, I gotta go. Thanks so much. <laughs> Let's see what's ahead on Shepard Smith.